trigger and listen. This sounds like a gun battle over there. Hey, is it real? Looks like real. Hey, it sounds like real. Right. The sound of power, military, and western rifles by Marks. This was my first gun. I couldn't wait to go outside and shoot up the neighborhood. And those were the days. I was born in Michigan, and I wish and wish again that I was back in the town where I was born. By the time I was a teenager, I was such a good shot. I won the National Rifle Association's Marksman Award. You see, I grew up in Michigan, a gun lover's paradise. And so did this man, the Oscar-winning actor and president of the National Rifle Association. Mr. Charlton Heston. We come from a state where everyone loves to go hunting. Not far from where Charlton Heston and I grew up is a training ground for the Michigan militia. Why do you use the bowling pins? From a uh, self-defense or whatever tactical standpoint, it's a small target. It also represents the vitals on a... On a on a human being should you ever have to shoot at one. The Michigan militia became known around the world when on April 19, 1995, two guys living in Michigan who had attended militia meetings, Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols, blew up the federal building in Oklahoma City, killing 168 people. The Michigan militia wanted everyone to know that they were nothing like McVeigh and Nichols. This is an American tradition. It's an American responsibility to be armed. If you're not armed, you're not responsible. Who's going to defend your kids? The cops? The federal government? No, none of them. It's your job to defend you and yours. If you don't do it, you're in dereliction of duty as an American. Period. And we're just here to let them know that, hey, we're here to help. We're not the boogeyman that we're made out to be. We're here to help and defend the people of this country. I'm sure you guys are the kind of people that people would like to have as their neighbor. Uh, if somebody's in need, you're there to help them. Yeah, pretty much. And we're all we're all normal people. We all have regular jobs, professions, yeah. and this is what we do on our own time. What kind of job do you have? I'm a draftsman. Draftsman, how about you? Unemployed right now. Unemployed? Frank, what do you do for a living? I work for a heat treating company. I drive truck for them. Uh-huh. Okay, how about you? I'm a real estate negotiator. Real estate negotiator. <laughs> White collar all the way. <laughs> you don't bring that with you, though, do you? When you're negotiating the real estate. No. All right. What do you live in? Suburban Detroit? Westland. You live Westland. in Westland. So what do you have in your home? I'll set the Westland on uh, 9 millimeter. 9 millimeter. Yeah. Uh -huh. How about you? With hollow points. 12 gauge. 12 gauge at home. Yep. Mm -hmm. How about you? M16. Yep. At home? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's already. Huh? I don't agree with that because you have to worry about where your rounds are going. Do you have friend holes in it? I know where they're going to go when I uh, aim and shoot. Whose idea was the Be Kristen. The picture's worth a thousand words. I mean, it's not. It, it, a, it demonstrates a level of sophistication that you wouldn't expect out of out of militia. B, you know, we're, we're people too. Right. And we have a lot of fun with it. Right. It was a fundraiser. It, it showed um, that we're not so serious, you know. Not, the conspiracy nuts who wouldn't want our pictures get out, you know, and at the end, it was a, it was a fun fundraiser, you know. I've had guns um, pretty much since I was old enough to, to have them. Yeah. And and I learned how to use them. Um, <coughs> you're silly. Uh, because, because being a female, number one, I felt it was important to be able to protect myself with the best means possible. And one of those means is having a gun. When a criminal breaks into your house, who's the first person you're going to call? Most people will call the police because they have guns. Cut out the middleman. Take care of it. Take care of your own family yourself. If you're not going to protect your family, who is? We're not racist. We're not extremists. We're not fundamentalist. We're not terrorists or militants or not other such nonsense. We're just concerned citizens. We have a desire to be fulfill our responsibilities and duties as Americans, and an armed citizenry is part of that.